Okay, so now that we've got a couple of tool locations learned, it's time to learn our, uh, our tool lens. So to do this, we're going to use the touchpad. Uh, before we use the touchpad, what we want to do is test it to see that it is working. So, to test it, what we do is click on Setup, click on Advanced, and then we click on Touchpad and Remote, and we click Test Touchpad. So it's telling us now, pick the tool and touch it off the tip of the spindle. So now we go to the spindle, tool pad, touch it off. And the machine says, touchpad test passed. So that means the touch thread is working, and so we can learn our tool lens. Just so click OK. Uh, it just comes up, it says program must exit to, for the changes to take effect. You can just click cancel, and uh, the, program, the, the changes will still have taken. Okay, so now what we want to do is learn our tool lens. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have the longest tool you're going to be using in the, t in the, uh, in the, the, the spindle first. So, once you have the longest tool in there, you're going to jog it over the touchpad. Now once it's over the touchpad, you're going to click on Tool and Learn Tool Lens. Then you're going to select which tool lens you want to learn. We're going to learn the first three. So we click one, two, and three. Let me click OK. Now the machine, pick up tool one and it will slowly jog down to the touchpad. Once to touch off the touchpad. I'm just going to pick up the next tool. Yeah, it's important to have the longest tool in the turret first because if um, if you touch off the shorter tool, there's a possibility that as the machine is jogging down to get to the touchpad location, that it will go too fast and break. So it's uh, very important to use the longest tool that you have in your first touch off. Once the touch-off is complete, it's going to go back and pick up the, uh, the, the original tool it started with. And now your tool location there, or your tool lens are saved. Now you won't, have to re you won't have to relearn the tool lens unless you change one bit. And if you do change one bit, you must rename all tool lens again. And two locations will not have to be learned again unless the, the tool stand actually physically moves or if you get a new computer. So that's the uh, automatic tool changer and how to learn the locations and tools.